Great news, guys. We're all going to be rich, probably. Everybody's saying slop, slop. We have to get back to doing strikeout props. Honestly, I don't even want to do strikeout props anymore. I'm limited at basically every single book that operates in Massachusetts, so that really tanks my interest in these K props. We're out here trying to slam these million dollar dinger parlays, so that makes it tough to get excited about a $25 K prop. But I'm a man of the people. I get that you guys might not be limited, so I'm going to run the K prop gauntlet with you guys. The thing is, we're going lotto style. We can play these things straight. Maybe even water them down so we can eke out a little profit. That way we're playing our lottos for free. We have options here. Our first option is Zach Wheeler. This guy is all over the map. He can get you 12Ks or he can get you two. That actually makes him the best kind of lotto guy there is in the game right now. Because if he throws up a dud, we can all just move on with our lives only having lost lotto money. It makes sense when you think about it. The thing is... I don't know that he throws up a dud tonight. For starters, he's gone for 10 plus strikeouts three times this season. Every single one of those games were at home. Maybe it's the mound in Philly, the ladies in the stands, the food, whatever. It could be anything, but whatever it is, he likes it. What's even better is, tonight, the Phillies will be welcoming in the Milwaukee Brewers. Over the last week, only six teams in Major League Baseball have struck out more than those guys. We're talking 53 times in their last 206 at-bats. That sucks. Looking out their lineup, there's 20 plus percent strikeout guys all up and down this thing. They're littered with those guys. If Wheeler can get 10 plus Ks against the Pirates, Reds, and Giants, there's no reason he can't do the same thing against these Brewers. Next up, Tyler McGill, 8 plus Ks, plus 680. Honestly, this is ridiculous. McGill is not Nolan Ryan, but at 8 plus, Plus 680, he doesn't have to be. Let's start with the fact that he just sat down nine Dodgers in his last start. That's not easy to do. And the start before that, he fanned seven Cleveland Guardians, which is equally impressive. The thing is, those were his second and third starts of the season. The guy's just now getting his wits about him. He's been hurt. In fact, last game was the first time the Mets even let him approach 100 pitches. He's a big dude, so he should be allowed to get near 100 pitches every start going forward. The thing about McGill is, the more pitches, the better. He's almost a strikeout guy. Everybody knows that a strikeout guy is defined as a guy who has more Ks than innings pitch. McGill is right there. So far this season, he has 20 Ks and 16 innings pitch. So by my definition, he's a strikeout guy already. Tonight, he's going to see the Washington Nationals, who are kind of a strikeout team lately. Over the last week, only seven teams in Major League Baseball have fanned more than those guys. We're looking at 52 Ks and 195 at-bats. That's not great. Carlos Carrasco just got five of them yesterday. Nothing against that guy, but come on. If he can get five, surely McGill can get eight. Now, both Wheeler and McGill go before 7 p.m. Eastern Time tonight, so we should know our fate before our third guy takes the mound. There's nothing better than just having one leg left of a parlay, and that's what's going to happen tonight. By my calculations, we should have about an hour after Wheeler and McGill cash before a third guy, Matt Waldron, takes the mound. I'm thinking we go Matt Waldron, 8 plus strikeouts, plus 750. Every sharp better on the planet will tell you, go with your gut. Do whatever feels right. And this just feels right. For starters, I think we might be looking at an undercover strikeout guy here. The man has hit this number in two of his last three starts. The time he didn't was the time where he was only able to get seven Cincinnati Reds. The guy was right there. He probably got hosed by the ump. Tonight, he's going to see the LA Angels. I'm not saying that they are a strikeout team, but I'm not saying that they're not a strikeout team either. Over the last week, only seven teams in Major League Baseball have struck out more than those guys. We're talking 52 strikeouts and just 186 at-bats. That sucks. Going through their projected lineup, I doubt any of these guys can hit a knuckleball. And that's basically what Waldron leans on. He also has a sweeper, which the Angels have proven that they'll just swing at air when they see one of those. Waldron could easily get eight of these guys. If we're being honest, this could be the greatest night of our lives. Feels right. 